it's a little longer slightly and a little bit wider than the normal ones everything it's made out of two by none of the three-quarter trim so you have even uh, insulation throughout the whole thing I got uh, since it's so wide I couldn't use a uh, solid piece of uh, metal so I ended up having to put two outside pieces on there and do an overlay here and I kind of screwed it down looking like an old uh, steam trunk box pattern that came out all right top is made out of two by four five eighths ply insulated and then we have individual uh, covers over the frames with three of them that have vents each, each of these are all the same exact size you got one additional spacer here in case it would ever expand you pull out and it gives you extra room but each of these covers exactly three frames you can pull this out and work three frames and not have to bother the rest of the hive at all they won't even know you're there okay. uh, in the bottom underneath the uh, frames is a solid stainless steel mesh uh, screen that runs the full length inside uh, underneath here we have individual pull-out bottoms that also have vents inside them and once this is closed it completely closes off the hive but you can still get airflow through the vent here and then you have another separate uh, tray you can pull out that's a little bit dusty right now that you can use for whatever type of uh, pesticide uh, treatments you want also to use it to get mite counts and stuff like that but each of these is individual you can pull them out individually and work on them as you progress working and as, as your hive gets bigger each of them has its own pull out tray same setup now this whole bottom assembly can drop down and be pulled out separately and not bother the hive at all uh, if you have to ever have any do repairs on, on any of them same thing for the frame that holds the screen bottom board in uh, this is all zinc uh, chain here so it's not going to rust I put a, uh, a frame holder on the side here that can be taken off. I've got a little plastic or actually rubber tips on here so you can't get yourself scratched if you walk around the edges. But it'll hold four frames. I can make them so they can hold longer or however, however many frames you want. And then a lot of people will work on their, their hive and then they set their smoker and their tools and stuff up here and it gets in the way. All right, so what we came up with is another little add-on here. It's a little small drop leaf table that we put on the side. It's just real simple to fold up and down. Stores out of the way. Nothing to putting it back in place. And you got plenty of room. You can actually uh, put a lot of these on here too if you would need more additional room for frames. And say you're gonna uh, set a, and put a nuke box in here. This is a, more than enough room to set a nuke box on also before you get ready to stock inside your uh, your hive. But this holds 32 frames. And then the uh, divider board is set up to where it can be moved in, in sets of three frames at a time. It's a solid uh, divider board, and the way it was made, it's a little tight, is there's a rabbit cut here. If you look on the side of, of the uh, actual frames, the sidebar sticks out just a little bit. So what this rabbit does, it sits down in there, so once this divider is done, there is absolutely no gap at all between either one of the frames at all. It completely closes it off and it sits flush with the top level of the uh, top covers. And that's about it.